Sexual assault counselors are feeling and seeing a record number of requests for their services during this pandemic. Many reaching out are children. Jocelyn Person spoke with a few experts that help victims of crime to see what they're doing to continue to help those who depend on their support. She's joining us now live outside the Children's Advocacy Center to tell us more. Good morning, Jocelyn. Good morning, Dave. Counselors at Resource Centers want those who are a victim of a crime to know help is nearby. Good afternoon, Crime Victim Center. How may I direct your call? A phone call the Crime Center of Erie receives every day, and during this pandemic, those calls are increasing. Counselors at the center say the COVID crisis has limited people, especially children, to seek help. People at the center say the goal is to always be the voice for the victim. We are in a very good spot that we really planned ahead, so we have the ability to do a lot more virtual things and do um, a distance um, counseling even. It's a whole new world, and many children are facing neglect and abuse. 60,000 of the center's clients were affected by crime and sexual assault last year. 25% of those were people of the age of 18. Those numbers are going up, and they're not being reported. So experts at the Children's Advocacy Center say sometimes for many children, a safe place can be at school. A child may feel comfortable telling what continues to happen at home to those they can trust. Those people who would be looking out for them uh, aren't there. I mean, the kids are stuck at home, uh, and we know that most abuse happens in the home. There may not be enough people to watch over the younger people during these crucial times, but it's never too late for those to reach out for help. Especially for a young person, you don't want your whole life to be miserable. Get help now. Get out of a bad situation so that your future can be bright and you can put the bad things that happen to you behind you. And to find out how you can get the help that you need, just visit YourErie.com. Reporting live in Erie, I'm Jocelyn Person. Dave, back to you. Some important information there. Thank you, Jocelyn.